Hey, what's checking? What's Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 19. It's been to thank you. You're welcome to Burning Heart. Burning Heart is a space for you. God's most precious creation to get inspired by His word, the life experiences, and by other precious minds. You are welcome to this purpose driven vlog. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, Jesus is someone to talk about. I am that I am the only one who is able to keep us, the only one who is able to help us. The only one who cannot fail us. The only one who cannot forsake us. The only one who can never get tired of helping us. The only one who can never get tired of watching over us. The only one who can never forget us. The only one who cannot betray us. The only one who cannot stop loving us. Merciful God, let's begin to appreciate God. Let's begin to say, Father, we thank you. We worship your name. Thank you for being a loving Father. Thank you for being a loving King. Thank you for being a helper. Thank you for being a provider. Thank you for being our protector. Thank you for being our strength now. Thank you for being called over our life. We are thanking God. Let's begin to appreciate God. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for being our healer. Thank you for giving us peace of mind. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We come with heart of gratitude tonight to worship your name, to bless your name to magnify your name, to reference you, to just say we recognize your work of our life and we are grateful. That is what we have come to say. We have come to say we are grateful. We have come to say only you deserve all honor. Only you deserve all glory. Only you deserve all adoration. There is no one like you. There is no king like you. There is no father like you. There is no helper like you. There is no lover like you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For the gift of life, we say thank you. For the gift of life, we say thank you. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for always being there for us. Thank you for not leaving us to do it by ourselves. Thank you for being our helper always. Thank you for being a merciful Father. Thank you for keeping us away from evil. Thank you for stretching your hands towards us day by day. Thank you for your love. I feel it not. Despite our unfaithfulness, you remain faithful to us. You never fail. You are the God that can never fail. And you have never failed us. Father, thank you, Father, thank you, Father, thank you, Father. Let's appreciate God, let's magnify God. God has been so good to us in so many ways. Ways, ways that we can't even remember. But the little you can remember, can you be thankful for it? That little that you can remember, can you be thankful? Can you be thankful for the gift of life? Can you be thankful for just today, yesterday alone? God. God has been God. God has been God. Thank God for your first meal, for your second meal, for your third meal. Thank God for His provision. Thank God for how He has been protecting you. Thank God for the evil that the enemy is blind. It will not come to pass over your life. Thank God because God is just too good. He is not man that he should feel us. He is not man. He can never feel. He can never feel. <laughs> Thank God for his promises over our lives. He has promised to always be there with us and he has been chained forth for us. He has always been there with us. He never leave us for once. He never leave us for once. He never leave us for once. That we will say thank you. 
Daddy, we worship your name. We bless your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For your goodness, we say thank you. For your mercy, we say thank you. For your goodness, we say thank you. For your mercy, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We can't just thank God enough. We can't thank Him enough. We can't remember the things He has done. And there are some things that He has done that we don't even know. We don't, we don't even know the things He has done, but that leads to that you know your pulse and that you can remember. Just thank Him for it tonight. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. That I will say thank you, that I will worship your name, will bless your name. We lift you up, we lift you up, we lift you up. We have come with a grateful heart to say thank you. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. For all you have done for us. I want you to worship God with the standard of the scripture that says that we should worship Him in truth and in spirit, not by lips. I want us to be sincere with our worship tonight. I want us to be sincere with our thanksgiving tonight. Father, I've come to say thank you. Just be sincere with your thanksgiving tonight. Because thanksgiving can pave many ways for you. Just thank God. Let God know that you are grateful. And if you can remember the things he has done, mention them. Mention them. It will make God know that yes, you recognize that he's the one doing a particular thing for you. Just thank God. Thank God tonight. Daddy, we say thank you. Daddy, we are grateful. We worship you. We bless your name. We do not take for granted all that you have been doing for us. We do not take for granted. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. Tonight we've come to return our glory back to you. No man can take your glory. Only you own the glory, own and adoration. No man can take it from you. No man can take it from you. No man can take it from you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We've seen your ends in our lives and we are grateful. We've seen your faithfulness and we are grateful. You remain faithful even while we are faithless. You remain faithful. That will worship, will bless your name, will magnify your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are thanking God. Let's begin to ask for the mercy of God. Let's pray that tonight the Lord will show every one of us mercy. The Lord will be merciful unto us. By His mercy, we hear our cry. By his mercy, we echoing unto us. Let's begin to pray and ask for mercy. Father, show us mercy. We have come again. We've come again. Um, no come. As the world wants to go back home without an answered prayers. But we've come. So you can hear our cry. Lord, show us mercy. Father, show us mercy. Show us mercy. Show us mercy, show us mercy, Lord Jesus. Ele caparo chete veluze catapa do vele do chata brando. E caliata parum de ve do chete cata. Lord, we ask for your mercy. Lord, we ask for your mercy. Lord, we ask for your mercy. By your mercy, let our sins be forgiven. Let our wrongdoings be forgiven. Show us mercy and hear our cry tonight. We've come again, Lord. We've come again. We ask for your mercy. Let the dosha tapando ve kuze le prati vi dosha te prande ve tuze katha. Rande de 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 dosha te kapado ve le tuze katha de ve le dosha te prando ze le katha. Ere ku pata sha te prando ze ke ku ve le tuze ra prando ve le katha. Re tu sha te tapate ve ku ve le tuze ra prando ze ke te ve le tuze katha. Ere dosha 
Jatta Palike do Vele to Shede Pratu Zekata, Vara we have come to night, show us Messi Katapa, Retu Shatata Tapa Eco Pereto Shede Velu Zekata Pato Vele to Shetta Branto Zekata, Retu Shatta Lebedu Zeta Tayata Brande Vedu Zekata, Shede Pratu Zefelu Zetata, Rete Kakapa to Vele Kato Shede Pratu Zelevedo, Rete de Kelepetu Zeta do Shatata. Father, show us mercy, show us mercy, show us mercy, show us mercy. Oh, Father, show us mercy, Father, show us mercy. Kata palive rendo, ritu shata palive kupira tia tu shele dove, reke kepe tu pita da shede do. In Jesus' name we are still praying. In Jesus' name we are still praying. We are going to be asking for the help of the Holy Spirit. Let's invite the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit will take charge tonight. The Holy Spirit will help every one of us. Pray and ask for the, Holy, for the help of the Holy Spirit not to get tired of praying. Pray that the Holy Spirit will help you pray tonight. Pray that the Holy Spirit will direct us tonight. Let us begin to pray. Let that part of the Lord, Lord, we ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. We don't want to pray about ourselves. So, but we pray that the Holy Spirit will help us. Oh, we don't even know what to pray about. We don't even know how to pray. Oh, Holy Spirit, please help us. Let you be to be to share the brand. We ask for the ministry of the Holy Spirit this morning. Come and help us. Come and help us in an exceptional way. Holy Spirit, we trust you to help us. Holy Spirit, we trust you to help us. Holy Spirit, come and take over tonight. Take over, take over, take over, take over. Ele kapato shede do. Reku do zele do shatande belu zekatande brande koshe do. Holy Spirit, we ask for your help. Reku do do shatata da pale kapaba. Reku do shatha vila do zekata. We don't even know the right word to use. We don't even know what to say. We don't know what to pray about. But we ask that you take charge. Rato shata pata vila kupere shete do do zekete pata. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, take charge. Holy Spirit, take charge. Holy Spirit, take charge. Ra ta ta pa ta pa to shete kopele tu zeka to shete. Ele brende kopele to shete to. Re tu tu shete ta ta pa ta pa la to. Holy Spirit, take charge in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are still praying. Amen. And let's be praying to our Father in heaven that we shall experience an open heaven tonight. We will not pray on a closed heaven. Let's begin to pray, Lord, let there be an open heaven tonight. Let's begin to pray, Father, let there be an open heaven tonight. We refuse to pray on the inclusive heaven. Ele prendo zeka do shete do. E rata pato shete pe tu 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 shata ta ta ta. E kapato shete prande ko zeka do. Le te 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 do shete prando zete te do shata prando zeka do shete. Le tu zeka pato shete. We refuse to pray on the inclusive heaven tonight. We refuse to pray on the inclusive heaven tonight. Let the brothers shut up the pale kujeta. Father, let our heavens be open. Let our heavens be open. 
Let our heavens be open. Let our heavens be open. Erata pato shete de kupele to shete pato zekata pale bere to shete to. Father, please cause our heaven to open. Cause our heaven to open. Get to shete to. Reto to shete. Let us bring a sanctified atmosphere. Etu pata pale kuperu shete vele to sakade. Ele brande de de to shete. Sanctified Fire was most fair, cut up a rusheda, a lebran to pick a tante belle to shed it out. We call against every contrary spirit, get rusheda, leap on the valuse, get all shed up, a red de de capanto vele do shed vita, o capara to shed up, a get to be the cotto shed a bread to sell it at all, a capa to fell a brand to shed it at all shed, a lepicata tapado shed at the decade. In Jesus' name, we are still praying. Amen. Tonight, our prayer focus is on guidance and direction. That's our first focus. We're going to be asking for guidance and direction from God because throughout the year 2023, we can't walk by ourselves, we can't direct ourselves, and we can't guide ourselves. But we need the Holy Spirit to guide us through as we navigate through the 2023. So, as we continue, let's open our Bible to say Psalm 119, verse 105. Please, if you can post it on the group, please do. Let me read from my hand here. It said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my paths. A lamp unto my feet and a light unto my paths is talking about guidance and direction. It's a different thing to have direction, and it's also a different thing to have guidance. Both work together. As we need direction, we also need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. It's not only about knowing the direction of where you are going to, but you need the Holy Spirit to guide you through, to tell you where to go to, where not to go to, to tell you what to do and what not to do. So tonight, you're going to be asking God, for guidance and direction throughout year 2023 we will not work by our own wisdom we will not work by our own knowledge we're going to pray that god will not leave us alone to work alone that he will be there to help us he will be there to guide us he will be there to direct us in everything that we will be doing in every step that will be taken let us pray that the holy spirit will guide and direct us let's begin to pray holy spirit please be there to guide and direct me throughout the year 2023 I will not walk without guidance. I will not walk without direction. I will not take action without guidance. I will not take action without direction. Holy Spirit, please help me. Always be there to help me. Life without guidance can easily fall. Holy Spirit, please do not just direct me, but also guide me. Do not just give me the direction of where I am going to, but guide me.
as I move, guide me as I move. Rata patushe de vedu zeka tapara de 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 do she de do. Rata patu vele kupi dan de 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 do she de bruise le to. Rete kapatu she de vedu zeka do vele brandi de do she de do. Ele bratu she de de ko do she do. Rata pandu vele brandi do she de ve kupelu zeta ta. Rata pada 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 do she de ve. Oh, God, I ask for guidance and direction. I do not just want to get into 2023 and be asking for guidance. I am asking for it now before time. That you always be there to guide and direct me. Always give me your word. Always give me your word. The scripture made us to understand that it is the word of God. That is a lamp onto our feet, and it is a light onto our path. Let us talk about the Father. Give me your word. Give me your word always. Give me your word always. Let it become my daily dosage, O God. Oh, Father, your word is a lamp onto my feet. It's a light onto my path. Oh, Father, give me your word always. So guide and direct me, to guide and direct me, to guide and direct me. Arata patu shete de kapal evere tu shete velu zekata. Ere tu 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 shata ta pata pata prat tu shete da. Ike tu zekapan de bele tu shete bele tu zekaparu shete da. Ike puti vele tu zekata ta ta pata para tu shete. Le prende bete bele tu shete. Your word is a lamp onto my feet. It's talking about guidance. Talking about guidance and a light onto my path. Talking about direction we need both we need both guidance and direction we need both guidance and direction we need both guidance and direction it is only God that can guide and direct you for you to have a successful 2023. Call upon God tonight. Lord, I ask for guidance and direction. Oh God, I will not walk by my own wisdom. I will not walk because I know the road. I will not walk because I know. I will not walk because I know the direction. Oh Father, help me. Guide me, direct me. Let Petu shut up, Brando Veke Petu shut it up. If there is anything you want to do in 2023, without the guidance and direction of the Holy Spirit, it can't be possible, it can't be successful, except God guide and direct you. No man can build a house without the help of God. So, also, no man can have a good work and a successful work without the help of God. And let Kapatu shut the Brando Veke. If it is a business you are planning to start in year 2023, ask God to guide you. Ask God to direct you to the room. What I ask for direction Mubasada Kailu Veri Katos Vero Tatozi Katu Paradis Arando Naibura Sikatoziaki Labora Vizka Pranasin Morate Pene Tavaya Tuk 
Whatsoever you want to begin in 2023, you need the Lord to direct you. You need the Lord to guide you. Why you need God is because God knows the end from the beginning. He knows everything. He knows everything even before it happens. So he's the one who can see the end from the beginning. He's the only one that can guide you. He's the only one that can direct you. Call upon God for guidance. Call upon God for direction. Oh God, I don't want to walk without direction. I don't want to walk without guidance. Father, direct me. Father directs me, Father directs me, Father directs me, Father directs me, Father directs me. Lepe to pick up a do shed at the cabaran do shed at the catapalieto. Red to shed at the do shed at In Jesus' name, we are still praying. Amen. Let's check the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 21. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. I read from here. NIV says, Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. As the Holy Spirit that will always tell us that this is the way, walk in it. I want us to pray tonight that our ears are open to hear the voice that will stand behind us. There is always a voice to speak. There is always a voice to say, this is the way, walk in it. Power us to pray that our ears are open to hear that voice. Our ears are open to hear that voice, that voice of guidance and direction. Our ears are open to hear that voice. Let us begin to pray. Rata patoshe te kevele duze kapande vele duze te brandu ze kata ele pe kuparande te duze te velu ze kata re duze te do. Father, as I navigate through 2023, Lord, my ears are open. To to hear the voice that is always behind me saying this is the way we walk in it there is always a voice behind us there is always a voice around us ah kalaparoshe te kupeto retitike te pele doshe te but we will not be guided if we can't hear that voice let us pray that our ears are open to hear the voice of guidance and direction rata pata pata paroshe te te kele pe tu shata brandu se keto rete ku Parande do shele brandu de kataria, erre de 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 o shata pa, ike kuparo she tu fele brandi viton de le keto shata pa, erre de 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 o shata, erra tu shala brandu ze ke kuparando she de da, erre tu tu shata ta ta pa de ko, re tu shata de li akapando de le tu she de brande ve do she de, in the name of Jesus my ears are open, ikapato fele. Perendo shete de 
Shoko, Rata, Tata, Pata, Pata, Pato, Shetet. There is always a voice to say, This is the way we work in it. There is always a voice available to guide and direct us. Ah, but let us pray that the Lord will open our ears. Our ears are open. Ah, Karato, Shetet, and look at the Pariata. And let me to fake up a rush, develop brand decata. Oh God, my ears are open to hear the voice of guidance and direction. Oh God, my ears are open. Oh God, my ears are open. My ears are open to the voice of direction. My ears are open to the voice of guidance. My ears are open to the voice of guidance. My ears are open to the voice of direction. There is always a voice to say this is the way working it le pe ku parata shata tata pa le verendo ze ke do she de brande veluse e ka pande vele pere do she da da e rata pa to pa ko she da ma ye za hopun to the voice of guidance ma ye za hopun to the voice of direction e re to pe ka ta pa le do she de ko le ke pe ko pe ro she da fa da give me here in here ali pande de 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 do she da pa ro ze ka ta li ata ta do she e re ke ka pa do she de do ala pande vele pe ro she fa da give me here in here ah rusha ta ta ka ka e ko pe do do sha te te pe le pe re do sha ta 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 o fada ki me here in here ah ra do sha ta na ba run de de le ke pe do sha de 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 ta e ka pa do fe le pe do sha ta pra do vi ka ta li ta o fada ki me here in here my years are hoping a ka pa do fe le pe re do sha ta my years are hoping to the voice of guidance my years are hoping to the voice of direction there is always a voice saying this is the way working it there is always a voice saying this is the way working it there is always a voice but we need a hearing ear to hear his voice my ears are open my ears are open my ears are open let us thank God, the Lord. I will not just hear, but I will obey. Allah bande vele peroshete to. It is a different thing to hear, and it's a different thing to obey. Oh, the God, I will not just hear, but I will obey. Give me the heart that obeys. Give me the heart that obeys. E kapando vele pe dusha da da. E reku bara da dusha da da da. Give me the heart that obeys. I will not just hear this voice. I will not just hear this voice of guidance and direction, but give me the heart to obey. Give me the heart to obey. I will hear this voice and I will hear this voice. I will hear this voice and I will obey this voice. I will hear this voice and I will obey this voice. I will hear this voice and I will obey this voice. I will hear this voice and I will obey this voice. I will hear this voice and I will obey this voice. Ara tu pitante le doshe te kuve le brandi di shadadia e recupa da 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 doshe te te kuve le brandi a doshe te do Allah bada 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 I will not just hear this voice of guidance and direction God I receive a heart of beating to God I will hear this voice and I will be e kapa doshe te kuve le doshe te brada e le kape kuve doshe te do. Rete te 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 kapa 
In Jesus' name, we are still praying. We are going to be praying against distraction now. We open our Bible to Proverbs chapter. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25. Even when the Holy Spirit is guiding and directing us, we still need help of God to remain focused. We still need the help of God not to be distracted. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 25 says, Let the eyes look right on, and let the eyelids look straight before thee. It is possible we start in the way of the Lord. It is possible we start in the way the Lord has guided us to pasture. But when distraction come, how do we undo it? Let us pray that God will help us not to be distracted. That our face will keep on looking upon Him. Pray that you will not be distracted. Pray that you refuse to be distracted. That way that the voice has asked you to pass through or navigate through, that you remain on that way. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Even with guidance and direction, we still need purpose. We still need focus. Course. Even after we've been guided and directed, we will not divert. Our Father, help me not to be distracted. Help me to remain focused. La Patu Zeketu Shete Bruzele Doshata. Help me to remain focused. Kele Bratu Shetu Vele Brande. Ekatanda da 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 I refuse to be distracted. Oh, Father, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me to look straight ahead. <clears throat> help me to walk in the way you've guided me into. Let my holy focus be on you. Oh, Father, help me. Oh, Father, help me. Oh, Father, help me. I will not be distracted. I will not be distracted. I will not be distracted by the beauty of this world. I will not be distracted by the face of this world. Help me to remain focused. 
shadada e keto pele do shadada bala bara de kosheta help me to look straight ahead ruze de da shadada ban de vele petu de kata para to shadada e keti pele pero shadada e kapadu ze de 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 belo shadada rata ban do vele ke kupero shadada i will not i will not be distracted e rete kupara do shadada my holy gaze shall be you kapalu vele do shadada e re kupara ta 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 do shadada kalia e le te pe kupara ta ta shadada e re tu 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 do shadada ta 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 do shadada e re kupata ta 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 le pe do shadada e ra ta panda pala para do shadada our focus needs to be on god alone re ta panda ve de pe do shadada ta ta e ka paru shadada do se ka ta u no start on the way that the lord has provided for us and let us and let us dive to feleke petu shata who remain on the path god has given unto us who remain on the path of god who remain on the path of god reke ka petu shata ta palike te vele brandu ze ka ta shata ta ta re tu sa ka ta palike te do shete du ze ka ta iranda ta ta pa ta pa ta pa ta pa la pa do shete pela du ze ta re de 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 ke te pili 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 do shata ta father we no start with you and let us dive to god i will not be distracted i will remain in your path kala parosh cheta i will remain in the path you've provided for me i will remain in the path you've made me to walk to ela ke pinda parosh cheta de do let us cry on to god father help me to remain on the path you've provided for me ela de 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 kata pata pata pato cheta de do re tu pita talia kato cheta de do zeta era ta pata pato cheta de ki te pranto cheta it takes a strong man to remain focused e ka pande vele pito cheta because many things we show forth e le ki pa ka ta 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 paro cheta de do trouble can be a distraction success can even be a distraction but let us pray to god that the lord will help us not to be distracted in whatever form that distraction is coming era ta pa tu fele pe do shete do distraction can be can come looking so good looking so beautiful but let us tell god our father help me give me the sane spirit i will not be distracted era pa tu fele ke pe do shete de ka ta rende de 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 ka la pa tu fele pra do shete do ze i know most of us must have prayed to god and god would have given us the things to do in 2023 but it, it takes the grace of god to remain consistent in what he has asked us to do it takes the grace of god to remain and be steadfast in what he has asked us to do let us pray that we will not be distracted allah pato vele pere do sheta we will focus on our goal and our holy goal is jesus is jesus get the pele pere on do vele da sheta da rende de ka da sheta da da our major goal is that jesus is always glorified our major goal in whatsoever we are doing is that jesus is always glorified whatever that we do that jesus will not be glorified in it we will not do it let us be god we keep us god we keep us focused kele te pele dosha run de de te ki ka pan de vele dosha era ta pan de vi ka tan de pele dosha ta u no forget to soon a ka palia ta pan de vele dosha ta ka reti ka ta pan de pele ka ko ru dosha ta di kele pe tu vele ta u no fall for the gift of satan ru ta pa ku pele ka dosha ta no matter how beautiful it appears we will remain focused on god e ka ta Ruti te te do she te ko pe re te 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 ke te pe le do she ta ta. We've asked God to guide us, but when God has already 
their sons to guide them. Those who we still need Him to keep us there, to keep us where He has provided for us. We still need Him to keep us in His path. Erete kupatante le to sheta. Our Father will not be distracted. E kapande bele bele berando sheta. Rita parunde kalita pando sheta dedo. Rita ta 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 pando do sheta dedo. Ike kupele do sheta brande ve do zeta. Father, I will remain on the path you've provided for me. Father, I will remain on the path you've provided for me. Uh, I refuse to be distracted. I refuse to be distracted. I refuse to be distracted. In Jesus' name, we are still praying. Amen. Please, let's we are still praying against distraction. Let's open our Bible to Mark 4, verse 18 to 19. Mark 4, 18 to 19. Now read from here. And these are they which are sown among us, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world. And the deceitfulness of riches and the lust of other things entering in shook the world and is becoming unfruitful. We all know this story. Let me read from Amplified Version. And the ones sown among the tongues are others who hear the word. And then what happened to the word that they heard? Then the cares and anxieties of the world and distractions of the age and the pleasure and delight and false glamour and deceitfulness of riches and the craving and passionate desire for other things creeped in and shook and suffocates the world and it becomes fruitless. Yet upon those what happened here first was that they received the word. It's not as if they did not receive the word. So also you and I who have received the word we've received the word of god but we're going to be praying that the cares of this world the anxiety of this world will not take away the word of god from our hearts it will not shock or suffocate the word of god in our hearts the word of the lord will not become fruitless in our hearts let us begin to pray that the lord will help us help us help our focus the lord will help our focus his word that we've received his word that we've received for 2023 all the word that we are going to receive that the cares of this world the anxieties of this world will not distract us will not shock us in the name of jesus let us re- let us pray that the word of the lord will remain fruitful by the time this these cares and anxieties of the world comes the word re- re- the word becomes fruitless. Let us pray that this word of the Lord that we have received, or the one that we are still going to receive, shall remain fruitful. It shall remain fruitful. It shall remain fruitful. It is fruitful when it is still guiding you. It is fruitful when you are still walking in the path of the word. It is fruitful when the word is still guiding you. It is fruitful when you are still walking in the path of the word. Let us pray that the Lord, that the cares of this world and the anxieties of this world will not should also forget the word of the Lord in our hearts. Reke pedo shata kalia pandu vele brende de de do shata. Eka pato vele pero shata da 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 kata. Rete te te kupi do shata te kupi le brende de 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 do shata. Eka paru ze kandele de shata bredu ze kadande. Eka pandu vele brende de 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 do shata da. Oh Father, help me the cares of this world and the anxieties of this world will not overweigh my heart. The riches of this world, the pleasures of this world will not distract me. Let's be so frank, we love pleasure. 
pleasure we love to enjoy but let us pray that whatsoever enjoyment whatsoever pleasure that we desire shall be in accordance to the word of god there is pleasure even in the kingdom let us pray that we seek pleasure we seek enjoyment in the part of the lord the cares of this world the anxieties of this world are it will not take us away from the part of the lord i want us to understand that failure trouble can be a distraction so also success can also be a distraction we are not just looking at the negative side alone but says that even good success can distract us there is a there is a way god can bless you and you get distracted there is a way god can bless you and you get distracted but let us pray that god will keep us focused we will not be distracted nothing will take us away from this path we will not see success we will not see answers to our prayers and be distracted but we will always know that we have a goal we will be focused we will be focused we will not be distracted we will not see the answers to our prayers and be distracted Failure will not distract me. Success will not distract me. Who oh God, I will walk to the path you've provided for me. I will walk to the path you've provided for me. Is there someone praying? Oh Father, I pray for everyone here. Success will not distract us. Father, keep us focused. We receive your word and stay by your word. We receive your word and stay by your word. Even when you bless me, even when you answer my prayer, I will still remain focused on you. My gaze will still be on you. I will not be distracted. Riches, riches are good. Riches are good. Even if it is the desire of God that we are blessed. The desire of God that we are rich, but our God, it takes the help of God to remain focused even while we are blessed. I will not seek comfort and get distracted. I will not experience comfort and get distracted. I receive the grace to still remain with you. I receive the grace to still remain with you. I receive the grace to still remain with you. I receive the grace to still remain with you. Even when I have received what I have asked of God, I will still remain with you. In Jesus' name, we are still praying. Amen. In Second Timothy chapter four, verse ten, Paul was lamenting, yes, saying, "For them as has forsaken me." Having loved this present word, having loved this present word, having loved this present word, that's the part I want us to make emphasis on. That's 
will not get used to this world. We will always be conscious of the fact that we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We will not love the things of this our age. We will not love the things of the world, but we remain focused on God. It's possible they must work with Paul, and Paul was a great man. Paul was a great man, but what happened to him? He still got distracted, even even while working with Paul. He still got distracted. It's not as if he does not listen to the word that Paul preached during those days. But at the end, what happened? He got distracted. He forsook Paul just because he loved the things of the word. We are going to pray to God that the things of the word will not occur our hearts we refuse to love the things of the world we refuse to love the things of the world our focus will be on god our focus will be on god let's begin to pray we will not be like them as we will not be like them as who forsook paul because of the love he has for the things of the world let's begin to pray father help me I will not love the things of this world and get distracted. I will not love the things of this world and get distracted. Love the things of this world and get distracted. The love of the world will not overwhelm me. I will always be conscious that I am in this world and not of this world. I refuse to love the things of this world. There is a way the things of this world can get us easily distracted. But let us trust God and God will help us. Father, I choose to love you. Father, I choose to love you. Father, I choose to love you. I re- I choose to love you. I, I choose to love you and I refuse to love the world. I refuse to love the world. I will not love the world. I will not be like them as them as left Paul. Rata Patusha the Kusele branded. What a great privilege to work with Paul. But he loved the sins of the world and he left Paul. Rata Patusha the Kapalia da Dosha de Dor. Red the Kapandu Veleberen do Shatta da Kaparusha de Dor. Oh, the things of this world will not overwhelm me. Help me to love you, Lord, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are still praying. Amen. Then, verse 11 of that same second semester, chapter 10, F, chapter 4, rather, says, Only look is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me <clears throat> for the ministry. I want us to pick that part of for he is profitable to me for the ministry. Another version says, for he is very useful to me for ministry. Another version says, because he is helpful to me in my ministry. I want us to pray that the Lord will help us to be in the right company. Lord will help us to have have the right association the lord will help us to work with people that are helpful to our life people that we have to our life and not people that will subtract us let us be that as we walk through the year 2023 we will be in the right association we will be with the right set of people we will be with the right people people that are helpful to our life people that will profit our life people that are profitable to our destiny people that are profitable to our mission in life let us begin to pray through out here 2023 i refuse to walk with the wrong association begin to pray that the lord will help us paul says he said that mark should be brought unto him because mark is profitable to him for his ministry he knew that mark will help his ministry to to, to grow he knew that mark will help him to do better in his ministry let us tell god that lord i only want to work with people that will help me to become better in the name of jesus
us father grant me discerning spirit paul had a discerning spirit he was able to discern the one who would be profitable to his ministry let us pray that the lord will give us a discerning spirit who will not those who will be helpful to us who will not just move with anybody who will not just move with any kind of person but we will move with those who are profitable to our lives we will move to we will move with those who are helpful to our life we will be in the right company we will be in the right association in the name of jesus father help me father help me father help me arata pato feleke to shut up rande de de pele to shut up rande ruze de de do shut up kapa ruze ke te do shut up let us pray that the lord will help us to be in the right association the lord will also help us to be in the right place the lord will help us to be in the right place at the right time also e kapa de vele to shut up rande ve ke and to be let us shut up father help me to always be at the right place help me to always be at the right place at the right time it is possible to be at the wrong place in the right time it is possible to have the right time but be in the wrong place but let us pray that god will help us to always get everything right who will be at the right place at the right time who also have the good company the right company for our destiny the right association for our destiny erete peto shatali kata pando vele do sheto give lord give me discern spirits let me be able to discern between right and wrong let me know the right time let me know the right place let me know the right company erete to shatata kapande vele to let us begin to appreciate god let's begin to thank god we don't have time anymore let's say father thank you for how you've helped me thank you because i know that i've not called upon you in vain thank you because i know that you've answered me thank you father 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 i want us to thank god and after this prayer i want us to still continue in the prayers of the lord will help us any prayer point you can still remember from this please after now continue with the prayers continue with the prayers i pray the lord will help every one of us thank you lord because you've answered us in Jesus name we have prayed Father, we worship your name. We bless your name. We give you all glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We thank you for the strength. We thank you for the wisdom. We thank you for how you've opened our eyes. We thank you for the understanding that you've given unto us. We thank you because throughout years it is waited through. You'll be there to guide and direct us. We thank you because our ears are opened already to hear your word. We thank you because we'll not be distracted, not by failure, not by blessing, not by success. We thank you because we always find ourselves in the right place at the right time and always find ourselves among the right association. We bless your holy name because you are God and there is no one like you. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you because you've answered us. Thank you because you will never leave us. Be thou glorified in Jesus' name. You are welcome to Burning Hearts. Burning Hearts is a space for you. God's most precious creation to get inspired by His Word, by life experiences, and by other precious minds. You are welcome to this purpose driven vlog. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, Jesus is someone to talk about.